A cool feature I have in the app is hyperlinking to websites that are already available. Here's one for the webcomic that I have for Island Fever. Instead of having to code everything into an app, I just point you to a website so that you can follow the story, and if I ever make any updates to the story, be able to have those updated in real time. Another feature is in the learn more section, I could actually send you to the Island Fever website that gives me a lot more information than being able to code something on a screen, especially in AR. And last but not least, you could check out the web store at shop.iltopia.com directly by checking it out on the website portal. Hyperlinks are a great way to add interactivity to your augmented reality app. Life goes up and it goes down. In this video, I'll show you how I was able to open hyperlinks in my AR app, Island Fever Augmented Reality with the Unity Game Engine. And what I really mean by that is opening up hyperlinks in the Unity app as an alternative to making Unity scenes. At the end of this video, you will understand how to access websites with hyperlinks from a Unity app. So how do you open up websites in a Unity app? First, you go to the Unity Asset Store, search for in-app browser, and open in Unity. Download an in-app browser from the package manager and import it into your project. Create a new C-sharp script called hyperlink manager. Open it in Visual Studio. Create a string for hyperlink and set it to null. Make a new method. And within that method, you can customize the look of the browser with the code. Then write a line to open the URL from the hyperlink string and the options you set. Save it and wait for it to compile. Create a new game object called hyperlink manager. Add the script to the manager. Make it a prefab. Connect the button by clicking the plus sign. Add the prefab to your button. Open the function menu in the button and select the function from your script. Copy the address from the desired website. Add the URL to the box in the inspector. And voila! Your Unity app can now access websites in an in-app browser without having to leave the app. And I was able to create this by understanding how hyperlinks work within the Unity ecosystem and how you could actually create experiences on websites that you could access without having to leave your app. And so typically what we see is we have our unit, our menu that we built out and we designed it and we have a list of scenes that are in our scene index. And so it's main, AR, about, tutorials, whatever it is. And so with that, the only access points are from the app. And if you want to make any content updates, you have to use the Unity editor to make those content updates. So it's great for building an app that is self-contained within an ecosystem and you don't need to leave to access anything around the app but you know you can't use hyperlinks and you can't really go outside of that app ecosystem to to have other content experiences so if you don't care about hyperlinks no problem but if you're like me where you had websites for web comics and online stores and videos and landing pages for sign up screens and you don't want to be able to code that stuff into a Unity app specifically and you want it to be accessible across a variety of devices like using YouTube videos or using a MailChimp sign up or using a web hosted web comic page or even a Shopify online store you can use hyperlinks to point to those things and so with that, you have these hyperlinks to these different websites that you have already available, and the access points are very vast. You can access those on mobile devices, you can access those on regular computers, iPads, uh, even on game consoles. And so any device you can access those points on those webcomic platforms or websites. And if you want to make content updates, you could just use those portals for those different platforms. And so even if your app goes down, people get to still access all the content that you need on those websites. And so it's great for building an app that is part of a larger project or a larger ecosystem that you need a variety of different platforms for. And if you want to keep people within the app, but you want them to have access to these websites, hyperlinks are a great way to do that. So now it's time to apply what we learned with an activity. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a button that opens a hyperlink within the Unity app. And the key steps are really searching for an in-app browser in the Unity Asset Store, download the package in the package manager, create a hyperlink manager with the C-sharp script, 
make a hyperlink manager the prefab and then add the desired website in the manager. And so go ahead, give it a try and post a reply in the comments to let me know how it goes. And if you're not in a hurry, follow along with me as I work on this project in real time. Okay, so I'm at the Unity Asset Store right now, and this is a perfect place for you to get all your new assets, find deals, do a lot of things that probably would take you forever to do, but they have a whole community within Unity that allows you to uh, really get stuff at a very affordable price to cut corners and make amazing experiences without having to know how to do those things. And so in that, I'll just look for in-app browser, and there's a package called in-app web browser. So I'll go ahead, have a look at that, and I'll open that in Unity. And so an alternative is going to window, then package manager, and then going to in projects, go to my assets, and then I'll just type in in app browser right there. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and download it. And then I'll click import. And I'll look at it, see everything looks good. And I'll click import. Now that it's imported, I'll go through and there should be this folder called in-app browser. And you'll find example scripts and you'll find prefabs. So now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for one of our buttons. We have our button here and we call this one digital comics. So digital comics button and it has our on-click variable right here. Everything is good, right? So we'll go into our scripts and we'll create a new script new C-sharp script, and we'll call this hyperlink manager. And we'll open it in Visual Studio. And so the things that we need, uh, we have our using system.collections and Unity uh, engine, we have that right there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a public stream. So public stream and we'll say this is hyperlink. And we'll just for now just set it equal to null, like that. And that just means that it's gonna be empty. And so then we will delete our start and our update. And we'll actually just make a, a new method or new function. So we'll call this public void. And then we'll have on button clicked. And then in that, we'll actually try to access our in-app browser. So we'll do in-app browser dot display options. And then we'll have options as the variable. And we'll have that equal new in-app browser dot display options like that and so then we'll say options and we want this to be display url as page title and we'll have that equal to false then another option is hides history button and we'll equal true. And then we'll have another option and that will be page title. And for this, this is where you could have a custom page title. And so for me, I'll have um, Stucky's project. And this is to give you a little bit of branding. And then we'll go to options again, and we'll have this be back button text. And with this, 
this just says, what is the back button text going to be? We'll just say exit. And then the option, the last option we'll do is for a text color. And this is just to choose the, the correct text color. And so I'll have it be FF8578. And this is just regular hex colors. So you can figure that out, whatever you want. And then from there, I'll do another reference. And this is just to open the URL. And we'll have this just be the hyperlink. So hyperlink. And then we'll say with the options. And voila, just like that. If you don't want to modify any of this stuff, you could just get rid of it and you could just have the in-app uh, open URL. And then uh, we could just make another one called public void. And this is to uh, clear the cache. So on clear. Cash clicked. We will just have in app browser again dot clear cache. And then got the parentheses and voila. There we go. So this is fully customized where we have all of our stuff here, uh, even to the point we have the title name and the custom exit button and the colors. And so we'll go ahead and save that, wait for it to recompile. And after we recompile it, we'll create a new uh, empty game object. We'll call that hyperlink manager. Like that. We'll drag over a hyperlink manager. Then we'll go to our prefabs. We'll make it a prefab. And then after that, we will connect it to our button. So we'll go to digital comics. We'll click the button right here to open it. We'll drag the hyperlink manager here. And we have our hyperlink manager function. And we'll click on button clicked like that. So now all we do is we go to our website. I have a website that I want to use. So web comic. Uh, I'll just go to Island Fever dot com and I want to have it be the webcomic. So I'll go to webcomic right here. So I'll just copy that. I'll paste that there. And notice it has to be HTTPS. But I'll just paste it. And voila. We have our working menu. Everything works. And so now you're able to go through and uh, create a hyperlink that you could access. Unfortunately, you can't access it from the browser or from the editor, but when you build out to a device, you're able to access it and it works completely fine, just like that. I appreciate all my Patreon supporters that have made this project possible and are continuing to support me. And again, if you wanna get the project files for this project, go ahead and join my Patreon. And if you haven't already, go ahead and join the Discord because there's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool conversations, and that is the best place to reach out to me and help me build this wonderful creative and art tech community. If you like this and other videos, definitely join my Patreon to download the project files and get behind the scenes sneak peeks of new projects and be a part of the sponsor section at the end of my videos. Download the Island Fever Augmented Reality app at islandfever.com or search for it on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Check out my courses on Skillshare, Gumroad, and Udemy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and follow me on social media at Stuck on an Island or going to stuckonanisland.com. All the links in the description below.